Our motoring tip of the week concerns synthetic lubrication. Now, when you talk about synthetic lubricants in the automotive industry, it all traces back to one guy, and that's Albert J. Amatuzio, who founded Amsoil Synthetic Lubricant Company. Now, Amatuzio was a fighter jet pilot in the U.S. Air Force, and he was a squadron commander. He had lots of first-hand experience with just how great synthetics worked for jet engines. And long before he adapted synthetics for automotive use, they were already in use lubricating jet engines. And of course, the extremes in a jet engine, extremely high RPM at, at high altitudes, you've got super low temperatures, but really hot inside the engine where you're generating the power and burning fuel. So the parameters or the requirements for that jet engine, of course, very different than an internal combustion engine. But Amatuzio was onto something. He realized that synthetic lubricants were fantastic at protecting super high loads, super high RPM, extremes of temperature. How could he adapt that to automotive? So he started working on it in the 60s. And by the mid to late 60s, he was already selling synthetic lubricants. But his big breakthrough was in 1972 when he got the API, or American Petroleum, Institute uh, sanctioning or approval for his synthetic motor oil. The API sets the performance criteria for the entire lubricating oil industry. Now, Amsoil also had a lot of other industry firsts, um, the first synthetic automatic transmission fluid, the first synthetic gear lube, the first synthetic diesel engine oil, etc. many other industry firsts. The big guys like Mobile One, Pennzoil, Quaker State, etc. they have synthetic lubricants for passenger car engines, light trucks, etc. but when you, you get into the the fringe stuff where it's lower volume, it's just not practical for those big guys to make it. When you want to get the superior performance and protection of synthetics for small equipment like your chainsaws, weed eaters, all your garden equipment, etc., motorcycles especially, Amsoil has product for literally every application. And you know, synthetics are definitely the way to go. And I've been using them for decades now, and I've seen firsthand the benefits that you get long term from using synthetic lubricants to protect your machinery. It is well worth the effort to seek them out and find them. Whatever the category, whatever the application is, synthetic is the best route to go to protect your expensive machinery. That's your motoring tip of the week.